Hello, my name is Kyle Rausch, and I serve as the Executive Director of the UIC Study Abroad Office. On behalf of the team here at the Study Abroad Office, we are thrilled that you have taken the first step towards pursuing a study abroad experience by watching this first step presentation. It is our hope that the information within this presentation will prepare you to navigate the study abroad application and pre-departure process. I will be joined by my colleagues in the study abroad office throughout this presentation, so I'd like to quickly introduce you to each of them, as you will likely be engaging with one or more of the team as you find and apply to your program of choice. First, Irina Kramova serves as our Senior Associate Director. Irina has worked several years in the UIC study abroad office and has a tremendous wealth of information regarding UIC policies and procedures for studying abroad. Irina primarily advises students interested in studying on one of UIC's faculty-directed programs and select programs based in Africa, Asia, the Middle East, and Europe. Next, Marley Stein serves as our Associate Director. Marley oversees our funding resources, assists with our outreach strategy, and advises for a portfolio of programs throughout Latin America and Europe. Crystal Williams has been a member of the SAO team for several years and advises for programs in Oceania and Europe. Crystal also manages our exchange programs. Maggie Miller serves as the study abroad advisor and will likely be your first point of contact for our office. Maggie is a great resource if you're just getting started with study abroad and can help answer many of your initial questions and also help you narrow your program options down. In addition, she manages our course approval process and will help you navigate it. Collectively, our team has traveled to many different countries and worked with thousands of students to help them have successful study abroad experiences. Our strong passion for and belief in the unique educational power studying abroad can have motivates us to support students such as yourself in their pursuit of studying abroad, and we very much look forward to working with you. So why study abroad? Ask someone who studied abroad about their experience, and chances are that they will say it was life changing. Although ubiquitous, the statement is an attempt to encapsulate the many positive aspects that studying abroad can provide. As a co-curricular experience, studying abroad can have a profound impact on you and those with whom you come into contact. Consider some of the moments in your life where you have learned the most. Chances are these moments were a result of you trying something new or outside of your comfort zone. When we disrupt our daily routines and challenge ourselves, we stand to grow the most. This disorienting dilemma serves as the basis of studying abroad and can result in a host of personal, professional, and academic benefits, as well as the potential for the experience to create positive intercultural relationships with people the world over. As you reflect on the reasons for which you are considering studying abroad, here are some potential benefits to keep in mind. Personal benefits include an increase in self-confidence, the development of intercultural competence, an enrichment of your life, the acquisition of new perspectives, making new friends and contacts, providing direction or clarity to your goals, discovering new interests and passions, and seeing the world. Next, with as few as 10% of U.S. undergraduate students studying abroad, it can also benefit your career. Professional benefits include the development of transferable or soft skills such as leadership, communication, and comfort with ambiguity, an expansion of your professional network, and gaining real-world work experience from an international internship or research project. Finally, studying abroad can benefit your academic career by adding an international or comparative dimension to your degree, offering alternative ideas and solutions to issues within your discipline, helping you to earn UIC credit while living and studying in another country, assisting your understanding of complex topics and issues through experiential learning, and inspiring you with future lines of inquiry and research. What are your studying abroad goals? Studying abroad is a big decision and you should spend considerable time reflecting on the goals you have for studying abroad. By considering your goals, you will find it easier to identify the best program for you. Here are some questions you might contemplate before selecting your program. Would you like to focus on a new area of study during your program, or is it more important to find classes that pertain to your major or minor? Do you want to take classes in English with fellow American college students, or would you prefer a more immersive experience where you are taking classes with local students? Are you interested in an internship, research, or service learning opportunity as part of your program? 
Do you have a specific culture, region, or country of interest? Would you prefer a traveling program with multiple destinations? Would you prefer to live in a major metropolitan area or a rural area? Is learning another language important to you? There are no inherently right or wrong answers to these questions. However, spending time thinking about some of these questions and your overall motivation to study abroad will help you find the right program. Hi, my name is Maggie Miller and I'm the study abroad advisor in the office. Now that you know the benefits of studying abroad, I want to dispel some misconceptions that many students have about the possibility of studying abroad at UIC. The first one we hear a lot is that study abroad costs too much. Well, this is false. Programs vary in cost depending on location, duration, and provider of the program. Typically, the program fee covers tuition, housing, international health insurance, excursions, 24-7 support from on-site staff, and sometimes meals. These are similar things for which you are paying when studying at UIC, so when you add all of that up, the cost of studying abroad may be similar or even less than it is to study at UIC. Additionally, you can apply most of your financial aid to your program fees along with any study abroad scholarships you receive, greatly reducing the cost of studying abroad. Don't let the program fee scare you. Our staff is here to help you find a program that fits your academic, professional, and financial needs. The next thing we hear a lot is that study abroad is not for my major or will delay my graduation. This is also false. Any major at UIC can study abroad. We help you work with your academic advisors before you go abroad to make sure all of the courses you take and any internships you participate in will be approved as credit towards your degree. You can take courses for your major, minor, gen ed requirements, or elective credit, and everything will appear on your UIC transcript as UIC credit. This means that you will know exactly how your term abroad will fit into your academic career before you even leave. If you are planning to go abroad in the future, we recommend that you meet with your academic advisor to discuss your options and find the best term for you to study abroad. Another myth we hear is that study abroad is unsafe. This is false. While safety cannot be guaranteed anywhere, we take the health and safety of our participants very seriously. We partner with organizations whom we have vetted and have demonstrated best practices for hosting students abroad. We follow guidance set by the U.S. Department of State and the Centers for Disease Control to make sure that the locations we have programs in are safe for UIC students. Our programs have a network of student support services on site and are available 24 seven once your program starts. The study abroad office is also available 24 seven in the event of an emergency, and we will provide you with our emergency phone number prior to your departure. In addition, we require and provide comprehensive international health insurance for your entire program duration. Our staff have all traveled internationally, and we know it can be worrisome if it is your first time traveling abroad, so talk to your advisors before your advising appointments about any concerns you may have about safety. Another myth we hear is that, I don't know another language, so study abroad is not for me. While we do recommend learning some of the host language of the country to where you travel, if you don't know another language or don't have plans to learn another language, there is no shortage of programs that would work great for you. Whether it's a program in an English-speaking country like Australia or the United Kingdom, or a non-English-speaking country, the vast majority of our programs provide coursework in English. In fact, there are only a few language-intensive programs that do not offer courses in English. Additionally, if you study abroad in a non-English-speaking country, the on-site staff is there to help you with all aspects of your experience. The last myth we wanted to dispel today is that study abroad programs are too long. I have other responsibilities. If you can't spare an entire semester to study abroad, don't worry. There are dozens of shorter term programs in the summer that range from three to eight weeks on average, including several UIC faculty directed programs specifically designed for UIC students. You can typically earn three to six credits during these programs and have the option of taking classes or participating in an internship. We even have UIC faculty directed programs that occur during spring break or winter break. These programs are often connected to a semester course with the trip abroad taking place during a seven to 10 day break. There are options for everyone. We hope that the rest of this info session will help answer any lingering questions about how study abroad can fit into your career at UIC. 
If you have any other concerns about the possibility of study abroad to you, for you, please contact our office and we'll be more than happy to discuss them. So what kind of programs are available for UIC students? Where can you go and what subject areas can you study? To ensure there is a program that fits the needs of any UIC student, the Study Abroad Office has developed a portfolio of several different types of programs in over 80 locations worldwide. There are three different types of programs, faculty directed, partnership, and exchange. First, faculty directed programs. These programs are created by UIC faculty members and students travel alongside other UIC students. We are continuously working with different faculty members, so these programs may change year to year. There are two main types of faculty directed programs, standalone programs that occur during the summer and embedded programs that occur during an academic break, such as spring break. Summer programs are typically four to six weeks long and tend to offer between three to six credits. Embedded programs are attached to a semester UIC course and include the travel portion during an academic break, such as winter or spring break. Our next type of program is partnership programs. We have partnered with several organizations and universities throughout the world that offer a wide range of courses. There are three types of partnership programs, direct enroll, program centers, and hybrid. Direct enroll programs are as they sound. Students directly enroll in classes at a partner university. These immersive programs allow students to join the international and local student population in their classes. Direct enroll programs offer a wide array of courses to choose from and are great options for more independent students. Program center programs are summer, semester, or academic year programs that are offered by U.S. study abroad providers that have program centers worldwide. These centers are fully staffed with local faculty and student support services staff. They have a wide variety of courses at the program centers taught in both English and the local language. Hybrid programs are identical to the program center model with the addition of having the option to take courses at a local university. Partnership programs also offer you the, the opportunity to participate in internships, service learning, and undergraduate research. Our third type of program is exchange programs. These programs occur during the semester or academic year length and involve UIC students directly enrolling in classes at a partner university. This is the only program model where the UIC student pays UIC tuition and fees. UIC tuition waivers and veteran benefits can be used with this program model. Exchange programs typically offer a wide array of courses to choose from and are great options for more independent students. These immersive programs allow students be to become embedded at their local university. You can study virtually anything abroad. Students from any UIC college and any major are eligible to study abroad, and you can get major, minor, gen ed, or elective credit from your classes. Some programs are geared towards specific areas of study, such as most faculty directed and some program center programs, and some are much more general and offer a large variety of classes, such as most direct enroll and exchange programs. In addition to taking classes, you can also participate in credit bearing internships and undergraduate research in both summer and semester long programs. So where can I study abroad? We have locations in almost 50 countries and around 90 cities worldwide. Remember that regardless of the location, almost all programs offer coursework in English. So you really can go abroad anywhere. In a recent academic year, UIC students studied abroad in 32 different countries. Studying abroad is first and foremost an academic endeavor. When you study abroad on an approved UIC program, you will remain a UIC student and all grades you earn on your program abroad will be factored into your UIC GPA and appear in your UIC transcript. Consequently, it is very important that you approach your study abroad experience with a sincere commitment. On some of our programs, such as direct enroll or exchange programs, you will have the opportunity to take classes with local professors and students. It is important to know that the academic experience can vary greatly from what you are accustomed to on a U.S. campus. Many times, students report that they must study for more hours than they typically might back home. In addition, some courses may only issue you a grade based on one or two final papers or exams, rather than several smaller assignments throughout the term. Teach teaching styles are likely to differ as well. This is all a part of the experience and can help make you a more well-rounded student. You are encouraged to research the classroom culture of your host country and reach out to your program support staff if you encounter any issues while abroad. 
On other programs, you may find an academic approach that is more similar to our own in the U.S. UIC's faculty-directed programs are UIC courses taught by UIC faculty members, so the experience is likely to be more familiar to what you're used to. Still, many of these courses may spend the majority of their time outside the traditional classroom setting, opting for a more experiential learning model. This is a great way to help bring the concepts which you are learning and reading about to life, and students often remark that it helps them better understand complex issues being discussed in class. All students who study abroad must work through a course approval process with a study abroad advisor. Our advisors will review the appropriate course approval form with you during your application appointment. This form is used to identify the courses you plan to take during your time abroad and to get the necessary department approvals for the equivalent UIC courses for which you will receive credit. All courses you plan to take abroad must be documented on the course approval form. Once you are confirmed to your program, the Study Abroad Office will register you for the appropriate number of credits in a study abroad rubric that is affiliated with your college. After your program ends and the Study Abroad Office receives your grades for your time abroad, your UIC records will be updated to reflect the approved UIC credits and the grades you earned. All of this is done in close coordination with your academic advisors, so make sure that you are keeping in contact with them as you move through the study abroad application process. Some great questions to ask your advisor early on include, what is the best term for you to plan your study abroad? What courses should you aim to take while abroad? Do you have any electives or general education requirements that you can save for your study abroad term? With this information, we will be able to help you find a great program match. After you attend this first step info session, there are four main steps that you must complete for the application process. Step one, no application deadlines. If you are looking to study abroad during the spring semester, you must apply to the study abroad office by mid-October. If you are looking to study abroad during the summer, fall, or academic year, you must apply to the study abroad office by mid-March. Some programs may have earlier deadlines. Make sure to pay attention to the deadlines posted on our website. If you are planning for a term further in the future, please get in touch with us to see if we are accepting applications for your program yet. Again, it is never too early to plan for your term abroad. Step two, review eligibility requirements. In order to apply to study abroad, you must have completed one semester at UIC by the time of your study abroad program, though some programs may be open to first year and transfer students. You must be in good standing academically and according to the UIC code of conduct. Step three, choose a program. You have three avenues when it comes to selecting a program. You can research your program options using the program search tool on our website, meet with an advisor via drop-in advising, or schedule a consultation appointment with an advisor. Drop-in advising is best for students who are just beginning planning their term abroad and haven't narrowed down their search to a specific region and or a few programs. Consultation appointments are great if you have narrowed down your search to a specific country, region, or type of program, but need some guidance in selecting a specific program or learning differences between a few programs. Step four is to schedule a program advising appointment. Once you've selected your specific program and are ready to apply, you will need to meet with a study abroad office advisor to submit your application. During this appointment, you will discuss scholarship options, create a budget, discuss visa or immigration requirements, and review the course approval process. Your advisor will also give you all of your next steps when it comes to getting ready to study abroad. This includes applying to your selected program and attending a pre-departure orientation. Many students often experience personal growth while studying abroad. Javier Garcia, philosophy major, participated in a faculty-directed program in Salerno, Italy. He shares, study abroad taught me to take a step back and appreciate the little things in life. We can often lose ourselves while working towards the future that we forget to take care of for ourselves, both physically and mentally in the present. I learned to take a break if I'm overstressing myself about a particular problem and practice self-care either through meditation or hanging out with friends. Another example of an LAS student who experienced personal growth is Aureli Granados, a criminology, law and justice, and sociology major who studied abroad in Salamanca, Spain with IES. She explains, Studying abroad empowered me and helped me become more confident. I learned more about myself and what I want out of life. The best part was being able to spread my wings and travel to places I always dreamed of visiting, an experience everyone should witness. For this CADA student, study abroad taught her to be fearless. 
Edith Mendez tells us, study abroad taught me how to be more adventurous and in some ways fearless. It helped me get out of my comfort zone where I was able to meet new people, make connections, and see one-of-a-kind sights and experiences. Here we have a business student who has studied abroad in almost every continent during his time at UIC. Zuriel shares, study abroad taught me awareness. Studying abroad gives students the opportunity to not only experience the country, people, and culture which they're visiting, but also gives them the opportunity to practice independence while building upon many other aspects of self-development that stem from being plucked from one's daily routines and normal surroundings. Now, let's learn more about funding your study abroad experience. Program costs for study abroad vary based on location, duration, and program model. However, the majority of the study abroad programs are comparable in price to the cost of tuition and room and board at UIC. Study abroad is an investment in your future. The money and time you invest now into your global learning will have lasting impacts on your future. All federal financial aid for semester programs travels with the student abroad, and in summer, federal aid can often be applied to your program. Consider this, the financial aid you use to attend UIC can also be utilized to study abroad in a different country. Hua Kao, Assistant Director for UIC's Student Financial Aid and Scholarships Office, is the best contact to discuss your financial aid package and what is available to you for study abroad. In addition to federal, state, and institutional financial aid, students are able to fund their study abroad program in a variety of ways, including applying for scholarships, receiving automatic partner discounts for being a UIC student, and participating in community-based fundraising. When planning for study abroad, you will meet with a study abroad advisor to learn more about the options for funding the specific study abroad program of your choice. Your advisor will also create a budget with you that clearly outlines any foreseeable expenses that you may incur while abroad. In recent years, study abroad students were able to bring close to 1 million in scholarships and grants with them abroad. This is a result of dozens of scholarship opportunities available to UIC students. You will need to apply to these various opportunities to secure supplemental funding, but we are here to help. Scholarships are divided into four categories. UIC scholarships from colleges, departments, or the study abroad office, national scholarships, program partner scholarships, and external scholarships. National scholarships include the Gilman International Scholarship for Pell eligible students, the Freeman Asia Award, and the Fund for Education Abroad. While these are competitive scholarships, UIC students consistently are awarded these opportunities. Students usually fund their study abroad with a mixture of these awards. Every application process is slightly different, but we have done our best to streamline these opportunities, and the majority of these can be accessed in UIC's scholarship database, UIC SNAP. Thankfully, our study abroad advisors are here to assist in helping you identify the scholarship opportunities that are available for your specific financial needs. In addition to identifying scholarships, our office hosts several workshops in partnership with the Office of the Vice Provost for Diversity. These workshops focus on helping you present your identity and diversity, as well as tips and resources for successful scholarship writing. Need more individualized help? Our advisors can review your scholarship applications and provide guidance on writing style and content. Regardless of when you plan to study abroad, it is never too early to start thinking about how you might fund your experience abroad. Next steps. We've reviewed a lot of information during this first step presentation, but hopefully you are feeling more prepared and excited to look further into studying abroad. Here's a summary of what your next steps should be. Explore our website. Our website is a wealth of information, from details covered in this presentation to funding resources to individual program pages, you can likely find anything you need. Let's explore programs. Here's the homepage of our website. To begin researching programs, click the Explore Programs or Program Search button in our menu indicated here. Our program search has many options, which allows you to apply filters to help narrow your program search down. We encourage you to spend some time performing different searches based on your interest. You can search by program name, term offered, or location. You can also search by academic area or partner. Next, I'd like to show you where all of our funding resources are. In this section of the website, we provide resources related to understanding the true cost of studying abroad, budgeting, using financial aid, and the many different scholarships we have available. Make sure you spend ample time reviewing the resources here as this is where you'll find the money to make your study abroad dream become a reality. 
When you're ready to meet with one of our advisors, just click the Meet with an Advisor button on our homepage. On this page, you'll find short descriptions of the various advising appointments we offer as well as a short introduction to each of our advisors and the programs which they advise for. Setting up an appointment is as easy as using the scheduling link next to the advisor with whom you'd like to meet. There are many more resources available on our website, including health and safety information, information for students from diverse backgrounds, and information for families and friends. Make sure to spend time checking out all of the great content. Another important step is to meet with your academic advisor. If you are thinking about studying abroad, it is important to let your academic advisor know as early as possible. Some good questions to pose to your advisor include, what term is the best term to study abroad for your major? Do you have any elective credit you can save for your study abroad program? This will give you more flexibility in your program choice. What courses should you be looking to take while abroad? So, after you've explored our website, researched programs, considered your funding resources, and met with your academic advisor, you should be ready to apply for your program. Our advisors will be excited to help you during the application process. Please be in touch. Questions? Get in touch. The Study Abroad office is located in University Hall, Suite 502. Our normal hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. We are also available for virtual advising, details for which are available on our website. You can also contact us with any questions at sao at uic.edu or 312-413-7662. Finally, we'd love to connect with you on social media, so follow us at UIC Abroad on Instagram and at UIC Study Abroad on Facebook. Thanks for reviewing the First Step presentation. We look forward to helping you on your study abroad journey.